All right, so you got to this point right here. You're really excited, man. You've got the fairing apart. Uh, you've got your, uh, your chaser run through the bars. You're ready to put your brand new grips on the bike. This is gonna be really awesome. And then you look at it, you pull it out, and you realize that you're not gonna be able to get this through the handlebars, and now your bike's all torn apart. So what are you gonna do? So this video is literally just to let you guys know, if you're buying the Willie G hand grips, you gotta be careful because the way they design this is they, not only do they design it where it has to run to your battery with a separate $40 connection, also the main wire is designed to go around your handlebar housing or around your, uh, your switch housing here on the outside of the bar, all right? So there's several different models that Harley carries that are actually designed where they both come through here and it allows you to run your wires through the handlebar. The Willie G's are not set up like that. All right, again, they got a wire here on the outside. It's gonna sit on there something like, I don't know, something like that probably on the bar. And then this wire actually has to come around the housing. All right, that I can almost deal with, although I don't like it. Uh, John Maxwell did a great video where you can notch this out here, you can notch it out in here with a Dremel and make it look good and you know run it through the bars and all that good stuff. I'm, I'm not going to do that. But the other problem that you have here is this is a 19 Street Glide Special. I have two connections that I can use in the front. This connection here will work just fine, which goes to the throttle side. This connection here this is the way it comes, all right? You have a fuse block there, and then you have three connections that you actually have to splice. This is where your extra connection comes in. So when you read all of the hand grips on Harley's website, say you're gonna need an extra connector kit, you're gonna need an extra connector kit, but when you look at the install videos on YouTube, what some of those guys don't tell you is that they're using a different kind of hand grip. You can't just buy any hand grip off of Harley's website. And this isn't a knock against anybody that's done a video on the wire, uh, on, on the heated grips, but this is just to tell you that on some of these models, you do need that extra connection that comes off of the battery, which then you will splice into uh, like that. And you can also use these for heated seats or whatever, you, whatever else you wanna do. But we already have connections here in the fairing. That's what I want to use. I want to be able to plug it in, put in my, my throttle side, and be done with it. You can't do it with the Willie G's, all right? The chrome or the black, you can't do it. If the wire is going to bug you being on the outside or you don't want to run your stuff to the battery, this is not the grip set for you. So what I decided to do is I went with the black Kahuna set. Uh, again, they won't go with my Willie G uh, theme, but they still look really good. Um, and, and I think they'll bring a nice look to the bike and they'll bring a much needed uh, warmth to my hands as I'm riding uh, as it's starting to get colder. So I know a lot of people are going to be buying these grips, especially with them being on sale right now. Uh, just don't get trapped in that thing, man, because you're going to be highly disappointed and uh, it's something that they don't tell you because they tell you you need a connection kit with every heated hand grip and that is just not the case. So. If you liked the video, if it helped you out, please consider subscribing down below. We got a bunch of content here and uh, hit the notification bell. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And as always, hold the rubber side down.